Hey, Virgo, Sun, and Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for September 12th, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming with the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Wand energy. So it looks like, Virgos, you guys may have tried to walk away from your person here during the full moon energy with the Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Emperor, and the Page of Wand energy. Uh, they're simply letting you know that this person decided to maybe come back. They took initiative to try and get you guys back here at the same time. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. So you guys tried to walk away from this person on the full moon energy. But they came back in with the Emperor to speak to you and to be kind to you and let you know, hey, blah, 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 whatever the case is. They don't want you to leave. They, they did everything they can to get you back um, after they said whatever it is that they said to you to make you feel not great with the Five of Pentacles. Uh, this is a very much so a person who's a provider and a protector. And when they know that they did something wrong, they will let you know about it. Page of Wands. So this person was coming is going to be running back towards you guys with the Knight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. All right, it could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who's going to try and come back towards you after the fact that they had they were they were holding back on you, all right? But at the end of the day, they want to come back for you. This person may not be very serious at certain times or they're just running around doing their own thing, but they're more so seeing you as somebody that they can offer this Ace of Pentacles to, right? And they see that you're stepping into your power with the Queen of Wands. So it's like and nothing and nobody can pretty much hold you back or hold you down or anything like that. Three of Pentacles, a full card. So a lot of you guys are ready to take on a new journey for yourselves and really just step away from anybody who's not bringing you any type of peace in your life. So whoever this person was that made you feel left out, didn't make you feel good or anything like that, you guys tried to walk away, but they came back and got you again. That's how I'm seeing that. And then here with the Queen of Wands, so you guys were able to work on the relationship as well and then make it work out with the full card, hoping that you guys can have this new journey with each other or just rebuild it wherever it was that you guys ended up leaving the relationship at. Uh, it's saying the hair of Virgo that you got to take your time with the Temperance card, Four of Cups, and the Hangman energy there as well. So even if the connection was stagnant for a long t period of time, you probably never, didn't think that it was going to be able to get fixed again with the Four of Cups, but it looks like the angels are letting you know, hey, just stay patient about it because we're working behind the scenes to make the connection work. So this person is going to want to do what they have to do to get you guys back in the relationship again, all right? Magician, so this person's like pretty much manifesting you back in with the Magician, Chariot, and the Knight of Pentacles. They're, they're going to be coming back for you, Virgos. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini energy, Cancer energy, Sagittarius. This person's trying to manifest you back in. So do expect this person to come rushing back in towards you guys. But when they come back in for you now with the Knight of Pentacles, they're coming back rushing in with the Magician to the, to the Chariot. But it's like the moment that they get back into your energy, they slow down again. Knight of Pentacles, right? And then they're going to have to go within on an emotional level, on an emotional level there. And to let you know, hey, this is what I want. I want a relationship. I want a happy home. I want to have a child here with you. You make me happy. You're everything and more. And uh, they are going to be expressing themselves, themselves to you. Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, uh, Cancer, Energy, all right? So this is what they're going to be doing. They're going to come rushing back towards you again, but then they're going to calm down for a second and then express to you how they really feel. So this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, all right? So uh, they're coming towards you with integrity, with taking responsibility for what had had for what had happened before and they're letting you know that they simply want a relationship with you 10 of cups uh ace of uh sun card there <laughs> some of you guys may be pregnant at the moment or you guys got pregnant almost instantly with that lover's card and the and the empress and you guys might be wondering like is this person in another relationship with somebody else is there something else going on behind the scene that you're not aware of uh, it's saying that you need to hold your position. You need to you need to uh, stay in your power with that with the seven of wands. Everything can potentially be fine with the four of wands. Like your connection is fine and protected, but you do feel like that maybe this person is doing something behind your back with the page of swords and the three of cups. Maybe they're partying a lot. Maybe they're going out, chilling with the with their brethren or whatever the case is. But at the end of the day, you are speculating here with the page of swords to the three of cups that this person might be doing something behind your back some of you guys may have gotten yourselves involved with a married man or a married woman here uh hierophant uh king of swords 
Ace of Wands. So if this is the case, Virgos, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's saying that the person here, so if this person's married right now or they're going through some sort of separation, at the moment it's saying that this person here, they want to have an opportunity here with you. But at the end of the day, whoever this person is with the Queen of Sword energy to the Queen of Pentacles, they're going to tell you, they're going to speak up to you, they're going to come towards you, let you know what's really going on. But I think a lot of you guys already know the situation, already know what's happening at the moment. And they want you to be aware that this person is not going to be successful in being able to get into your mind. Uh, Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Hermit card. Virgos, you guys know too well whatever the situation is between the two of you guys, between you and this person. And you guys are the you guys are the hermit. You guys are already well aware. You're wise enough to know that this person here, this eight of wands, the five of swords, that they're just saying what they need to say. Because when this person sees that their person is interested in you, this one here, the ex-wife, the ex-girlfriend, whatever it is, they're gonna try and come back in and act like no, this one is with me. He's been my man or she's been my ma my girl for the longest time. And they're going to try and get you out of the picture, Queen of Pentacles. And that's what they're trying to do because when they see how beautiful or handsome you are, they're going to get very, very jealous of you, Five of Swords. <laughs> so this person's going to be absolutely lying to you <clears throat> because they're mourning the situation and they're very sad. So when this person finds out that, oh, uh, their husband or their wife is now, or ex-husband for that matter, or ex-wife or ex-girlfriend, whatever, is now looking at you and they're wanting a relationship with you now, they're going to try and come in and they're going to try and communicate with you. Page is uh, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and you're just like, listen, I hold the pentacle. Like, what are you trying to say? I'm I'm the one that holds the pentacle. You're per the person wants me. They don't want you. It is what it is at the end of the day. If they're not in a relationship together anymore and they was married or they're going through some sort of separation, divorce, whatever the case is, they're, they found you. They're with you now. Queen of Pentacles. And then this one's going to come in and try and let you know, hey, this is what's going on. I'm that, That's still my husband. That's still my wife. That's still my girlfriend. That's still my boyfriend. But in reality, they're just simply jealous of the fact that, uh, that, um, that they found somebody like you and they're probably ending up alone because this is somebody who's a, uh, not a widow, but a single mother or this person has a child. And yes, Virgos, all right? But you are going to be absolutely heartbreak broken over the situation. You're just going to be like, the fuck is all this shit, right? Because there's going to be some truth that's going to be coming out. So even though this Queen of Swords is, is calling, is letting you know what's happening or calling you and letting you know what's really going on, it's not like she's lying to you at the same time. The only part that I do see that is is, is very manipulative is the Eight of Wands to the Five of Swords. She's pretty much saying this so that way you can walk away from the situation because she or he does not want you to be with, this person up there and it is going to make you sad three of swords two of swords because there is still some truth to what this person is saying so even if they're not together they are still speaking some sort of truth and the truth will end up actually hurting your feelings seven of pentacles will the fortune you're going to be wondering if trying to figure out if you still want to invest your time in this it's more so the fact that yes you are the virgo yes you're the one that holds the pentacle and yes of course you're grounded you're stable you're everything and more but the question is in this situation is that do you want the drama do you want to be dealing with a crazy ass queen of sword who's going to be calling you left right and center and be like hey virgo this is what's happening between you and you <laughs> the question is do you really want to be dealing with shit like that and from my understanding, no, you don't. Uh, so you're going to end up leaving it alone. Uh, star card to the king of wands. This person is going to be very upset that you're not going to want to be with them anymore. But at the end of the day, they should have been able to put this one in check. But still, they were able to contact you, find you, uh, and and con then they call you, text you, whatever, to let you know what's really going on. Uh, even if you do know what's really going on, there's still this queen of swords is going to try and, and do whatever they can to make you walk away Um from this Aquarius, this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And in the end, this person's still going to reach back out to you again with the Page of Cups to the Six of Pentacles, hoping that you're going to be able to understand that they are sorry that this person got involved, that they contacted you. But in the end, I don't believe it's going to end up working out. Ten of Pentacles in reverse because you're not looking for the drama. You're not looking for the heat. You're not looking for no smoke. So at the end of the day, it's like this person should have had everybody in their place at the end of the day. And if they were able to contact you in some sort of way, however they chose to get your number or your Facebook, your Instagram, whatever, they still got a hold of you. And they're doing it because they simply don't want their person to be moving on with you because of your beauty, because of your stability, because of who you are. This person is just, you know, they're the queen of swords, but at the end of the day, they're more so sad that 
this person was able to find somebody before they were able to find them. And for that, they're going to want to ruin the relationship. And then what comes out of this is that fact that Six of Pentacles, it's like, who are you giving to? Are you really with the, are you still with this person or are you with me? Because even if this, this Queen of Swords is Eight of Wands to the Five of Swords, they are still also speaking some sort of truth in it. So yes, they are doing everything they can to keep you guys away from this person, but in the end, they are speaking some sort of truth. So maybe not, if they're telling you five things, you can say like three things are the truth or two things are the truth and then the three things are a lie. It's just, you know, it's like a half-assed information, but some is the truth and some is the lie. So you're not going to know between the lie and the truth because you don't know who the fuck this queen of sword is at the end of the day. It's like, how'd you get my number? Where the fuck are you coming from? And why are you even calling me for it? It looks like you guys don't really give a fuck about the, whatever this person's saying to you, but it's the fact that they still chose to contact you, which is going to piss you guys off on a whole other level. Uh, Ten of pentacles in reverse. For that, you guys are going to like just feel like it's going to be unstable now. You're not really looking for no drama or anything like that, Virgos. And you guys will have justice in the end because of the situation. And you are going to continue to stay single. You're going to move on with your life, Nine of Pentacles, and you're going to be by yourself. You're not going to rush anything at this point. Mm -mm. You're not going to rush nothing. It's like, okay, well, this drama came in, so now you're going to just stay by yourself, Nine of Pentacles. And you're going to be emotionally balanced. You're going to be absolutely fine. You're blooming. You're glowing. Everything like this. And you got justice in your favor. Justice card, right? So this person is going to try and contact you again and let you know what's really going on. So that way they can balance the connection with you because they obviously don't want to lose you. But now you're guarded. It's, it is what it is. And they do still have a lot of love for you. You're the one that they obviously want to be with. They do not want to be with this Queen of Swords. And they know that what they did was to try and sabotage the connection. But in the end, you're not the type of person that'd be like, oh, you're okay with the beef. You're okay with the drama. No, nah, Virgos, you're trying to stay away from all that type of shit. So anything that comes in brings disharmony into your life. You have no problem letting it go, Nine of Pentacles. So even if this person wants to come back and work on the relationship, Eight of Pentacles, uh, Justice, Knight of Cups, you're now guarded over it because you've already been in fucked up situations before in your past. So if that is the case, you're not going to be like, I'm not really, not that like you're scared, but it's like, no, I'm not really finna, I'm not really finna put any more energy into this situation. Yeah, Death Card Virgo is coming to a complete ending. Expect a breakup out of this situation. Four of Swords. You're no longer going to be talking to this person anymore. You're keeping bay from this person as well. It will be a tower for this person here with the Knight of Cups who's wanting to tell you that they love you. They still want to be with you. They want, you know, but it will be a tower for this person because they didn't think that it was going to end up like this. But somebody here does not do well with three-party situations they don't do well with drama they don't do well with none of that like you're the type of person that wants peace happiness and you're content being by yourself so if this person's going to start drama yes they are going to win by being able to get you out of the picture but it's not like they won by getting you out of the picture you win for saying fuck you and fuck your bitch and fuck your crazy ass drama ex-girlfriend i mean i want nothing to do with it i'm gonna go out with myself Nine of Pentacles, and that's exactly what you're going to do for a sword. You're leaving it alone. You're, you're retreating. You're going into hermit. You're chilling by yourself, doing your own thing. Six of Cups, now this person's going to sit there and miss you all day, all night. They're going to be all fucked up on a whole other level, and they're going to just end up having drama. They're going to be going back and forth, back and forth, maybe even with that Queen of Swords, while you're sitting there as a Nine of Cups, like, I'm free from this situation. <laughs> like, I'm free from this situation. I don't got no drama in my life. I'm good. I don't have no problems. But I think deep down, you guys are still going to be upset about it in the long run, knowing that this had to come out of, you know, because you really believe like, okay, no, I'm good. Everything's fine. But then again, Queen of Swords popped up <laughs> in your DM, they said. So, yes, there it goes. And they're going to end up having a lot of burden in their life with the Ten of Wands because this is nothing but drama that they don't want nothing to deal with. But they're going to have to deal with it at the end of the day while you guys can free yourselves with it with the Nine of Cups because you're good at the end of the day. You're not worried. It's coming to a completion, right? Nine, nine energy. So once you reach that 10, it's a, it's, once you reach the 10, Ten of Wands, that's it. It's, there's, there's no coming back out of this situation, Virgos. You're leaving it exactly where it is. You're leaving where it's at, where it's at, and you're going to mind your own business and move on. Ten of Wands. It is what it is uh you go from the eight the nine the ten it is what it is virgos all right this is going to be in alignment and it's going to be like okay you know what i'm single i'm good i don't want it they're going to come back you're going to be like no thanks i don't want it 
and they're gonna still gonna try and come back but by then it's like no it cannot be fixed ten of wands you don't have time for the drama you don't have time for the burden you don't have time for the bullshit and then they're still gonna try and come back six of swords ace of cups to tell you how much they love you and they want to be with you and you're like well you know this is a fucking confusion like confusing i don't really want don't want nothing to do with it but you are going to listen to your intuition with the high priestess and you might want to go back and forth back and forth for a moment but ultimately you are going to continue to move on with your life you don't have time for the bullshit you don't have time to be back in a situation that could potentially put you in danger and harm and whatever the case is because that queen of swords is the type of person that will lift up uh, any type of weapon and try to do you one at the end of the day and even though it could have been a soulmate connection between the two of you guys and you guys may have had a really wonderful connection you're still going to choose to call judgment and close this off with that world card five of cups and the devil card yeah it's spirit and angels are letting you know like hey you did the right thing this is too toxic for you you don't want nothing to do with the drama um as ultimately you want nothing to do with it and judgment is saying you did right by wanting to walk away from it you call judgment that this is too low vibrational it's too toxic for you to be putting yourselves into a connection like this for that the world card you were you're able to pass that five of cups why did you pass it because you chose yourself you chose to be free. You chose to be happy. You said, you know what? I've been through a lot of bullshit in my life. Why am I taking on another type of bullshit for? And that's why judgment comes in and the devil card. So they're saying that you did a good job on being able to choose yourself and walk away from it. This person's going to end up suffering with the five of cups and they're going to be in their own thoughts in their own head, right? Uh, moon energy. So this person may have thought that they could probably deceive you by letting you know like, hey, whatever, but you're sitting in your power at this point. You're, you're confident. You're good. And they're going to try and reach back out to you again. But this is a huge, huge fucking bullshit, Virgos, moon cards, seven of swords. You're not going to be dealing with this type of shit anymore. You're letting it go. Uh, this person's going to try and come back again for you again. But then in the ultimately, uh, it's not it's there's nothing you're moving on with your life you're leaving it behind you're moving on there's nothing that this person can do and say to you to try and get you back uh they're gonna maybe try and flip it around to make it look like whatever trying to blame you in some sort of way but act like oh how come you're just leaving out of this act who why can you leave out of you know like who gives a fuck at the end of the day you still chose yourself and that's the main thing so they're gonna try and come in and uh try and get you back seven of swords but they're saying like watch your back with this person too because they're not they're not all that stable gemini libra aquarius pisces leo energy um ultimately it's like this person's gonna try and come back to you but it's saying you're going to keep them at bay and you're going to watch your back with this person at this point because ultimately you now know you can't trust them. Thanks, cuties. Bye.